In today's Blender tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step step how to do punching bag physics in a Blender. Yes, this is something we can actually do. It's a ton of fun. I'm gonna show you where to get some free characters that come already animated. And this is something that is just, like I said, a ton of fun to play around with. So let's watch and let's make this punching bag physics scene. And I'll be uploading this file as well to Patreon. So let's jump in. So if you want a free character with some motion capture data, you can go to this site here called Mixamo.com, so Adobe Mixamo. And what you can do once you create a free account and you sign in, is you're gonna have some simple options here in Mixamo. You're gonna have characters and animations. So first of all, you can click on a character tab and then you can go ahead and search through the characters and you can pick any of the characters that it comes with if you want. I'm just gonna pick one that I like and that's just gonna be this wide bot over here. Once again, you can definitely pick your own. Once you've picked your character, you're gonna go over to animation and over here you got a whole bunch of animations but I'm just gonna type in kick and press enter and you can see it has all of these different options here. I'm gonna go with the roundhouse kick you're gonna click on the animation and it's gonna load it in here. Once you have it, you can go over to download. You can change the frames per second to 24, which is what the default is in Blender. Make sure it's FBX in the format and then go ahead and download the folder. So now in my downloads folder, I have this FBX file. And what I'm gonna do is that we're now gonna open up Blender. And inside of Blender, you're simply just gonna to go to file. You're gonna to go to import. You're gonna to go to the FBX format. And then let's go to your downloads or wherever your computer downloads to. And you're gonna click on the FPX file and you're gonna go import FPX. Once it's in, you can scale it up a little bit, which is what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna select the character mesh itself. And we're gonna go control A and just apply that scale for the physics interactions to be okay. We're then gonna grab this cube just to delete it. Let's delete everything else. So just have the character here. And if you go drag up in your timeline, you should be able to go ahead and hit the spacebar and play the animation. If you click on the rig, you can actually see the keyframes here. So let's come to the end frame value here and make it 180 frames, to make it a little bit shorter. And let's now give this something to kick. So we're gonna go shift A. We're gonna add in a cylinder and we're gonna move the cylinder here to the front. We're gonna tab it to edit mode and go S to scale it down. And then G and Z to move it up a little bit. And let's grab these top verts and go G, Z and move them up like so. And then we're gonna go Control B to create a bevel and roll our middle mouse button to add in some segments. And let's just extrude this in at the top like so. And then let's add in a few segments by going Control R hovering over here. And let's just click. And let's come here to our loop cut and slide and let's just drag this value up until we've got a nice few amount of cuts like this. Okay, now that's looking good, let's tab back out. Let's right click and go Shade Smooth. Now let's go over to our object data properties. Let's go and create a vertex group. This is simply just gonna be telling a cloth simulation what part of this we don't want to simulate. And that's gonna be the bottom. So let's just tab into edit mode and select the bottom verts, like so. And let's go and assign them to that selected group. Tab back out and now we can go over to our physics. Let's give this a cloth. Go back to frame one and let's go over here in our cloth settings and do a few simple things. Number one, we want to go to our shape. We want to enable the pin group over here and select that group we pinned. And then we want to go ahead and go up here to this pressure, which is going to inflate it. And let's change the pressure to something like 21. You can change it to whatever you want. That's what I'm going with. And now we have um, some physics. So if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, we can see this thing is inflated, but our character isn't interacting. So we're gonna select character mesh. We're gonna go over to our physics and we're gonna give it a collision. Then we're gonna make sure we're on frame one. And now if we hit the space bar, it's gonna be a lot slower, but we're now gonna see there is an interaction. So now what you've done is you've created a punching bag. Pretty cool, right? And what we're gonna do, let's just quickly add in a floor. We're gonna scale up that plane. Let's scale it along the Y and let's just give that a collision as well. Control A and just apply the scale. So now we have this really cool simulation. And if you don't want it to fall over so easily, you can just select it and go over to the pressure and bump it up to something like maybe 31 and then try it again, um, whatever you wanna go with. But you can see here, it's looking pretty cool. And let's make a punching bag. So this is more like a punching post, right? So let's 
use the same thing. So we're going to grab this. We're going to go to frame one. And we're going to grab this bag and go shift D to duplicate. And we're going to move it over here. And then we're going to tab into edit mode. And we're actually going to select the whole thing. And we're going to go R 180 in the front orthographic view. And then go G, Z and move it down. So something like this. And let's just select some of these top verts and delete them. And let's just move some of these vertices up. And let's press F to fill that and then go control B just to give it a bevel. And let's get our face select and then just select this top face and go E to extrude S to scale E to extrude S to scale. And then we're going to go E to extrude and Z and we're going to extrude it up on the Z like this to make the string. And let's go control R over here in the middle control R to add in a loop and let's roll the middle mouse button to add in some more segments like so. And now we have that. But what we need to do is go to our object data properties. Press A to select everything and then let's just remove it from this group. Let's go to our vertex select option and select only the top verts. And let's go ahead and assign it to that pin group. And now we need to go back to the physics, go all the way down to the shape and make sure that that group is still selected. Then go to frame one and hit the space bar. And now you're going to see that this is also a bag that is interacting but we need a character now to interact so what you can do is you can grab this character and duplicate it and place it over here but what we're going to do we're going to go back to mixamo and let's go ahead and get a punch this time i'm going to get a punch and let's go grab a character here that has a punch so we're going to go with this one over here the quad punch and i might just go to the that's just the animation but i might just go ahead and get the xbot character so I'm going to grab that one and it's going to say use this character. So you can choose whichever character you want. Let's download that. Go ahead, make it 24 frames a second. And here you can see we now have the quad punch in our downloads. So let's go ahead into Blender once again. Let's go file. Let's go import. Let's go FBX and let's go to our downloads. Now let's get that quad punch. Click on it. And now we have this character. We're just going to scale her up. Then we're going to go G, Y, move her back, place her here where the bag is, and just select the mesh, go control A and apply that scale. Give it a collision under the physics so it interacts with the cloth. Now go to frame one and hit the space bar. And now both of these characters are going to interact with the punching bags. How cool is that? Now, if you want these to be able to play out a little bit faster, let's first of all make sure to save our file. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. And let's select the punching bag here first. Let's go over to the physics. And what I might do, I might just tab into edit mode, press A to select everything and go F3 and just type in unsub and go unsubdivide. Tab back out and let's do the same with this one here. Just so it's a little bit lower resolution and let's grab the first one here and let's go to our cache under the physics. Let's just make it 180 frames and let's go ahead and bake that. So now it's going to bake it into the blend file. And there we have that now baked in. Let's grab this one over here. Let's go to its settings, make it 180. And let's also bake that one into the blend file. And there we have it. So now both of these are baked in. So this is how you can make punching bag physics in Blender. It's a ton of fun. And I'll see you guys next time for a tutorial. I'll be uploading my original to Patreon, which is this one over here, which is a ton of fun as well. So I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.